It's this year with Growing in OKC. Welcome to my suburban garden. Today's episode is all about identifying and destroying the Colorado potato beetle in your suburban backyard. So let's come on in and I'll show you what to look for. The potato beetle is known for its ten black stripes on its back. Uh, they're about 10 millimeters long and when the female lays her eggs it's going to produce a bright orange little larva. Ways that we can use to control the potato beetle uh, especially in an organic garden but there are two that work and they're mostly manual. The first is to drop the adult uh, bugs, the beetles, into a cup of soapy water and then the second is to prevent the next generation from hatching and so just like you would for squash bugs or aphids we're going to use ladybugs to eat the, to eat the larva. Now if you can't find ladybugs in your area for whatever reason uh, then what you're going to want to do is try to go and check under each leaf for the bright orange larva and then you're just going to squish them in between the leaves. Oh, what a wonderful couple. I bet they would love to spend a night just in the hot tub. Bloop. Go on. Goodbye. Get in there. And, oh, a wonderful evening together. This guy spent a hard day at work eating my leaves. Okay, so this is what the larva of the potato beetle looks like. You can see right there those bright Okay, so this is what the larva of the potato beetle looks like. You can see the bright orange color and you can even and to see some of the individual eggs. So you can smash these like I'm gonna do with this one and you can also release ladybugs. Okay, so now we're releasing the ladybugs into the garden. So that's it for this episode of Growing in OKC. I hope you enjoyed the episode and all about the Colorado potato beetle or the potato bug. And come back soon because I'm going to be doing a giveaway. This is Ish wishing you the best of luck growing in OKC or wherever you're at in the country.